A very good afternoon with you. I'm Paula Boya. Welcome you to our new show. In this new show, we are going to to show you how the green, how the carbon dioxide affects our atmosphere and the effect of uh, atmosphere. As you can see with me, uh, this is water. What is one of the greenhouse gases? What is a greenhouse gas? A greenhouse gas are those gases that are in the atmosphere. Sometimes they are positive. They may, they, they, they trap heat so that they keep us warm. But when they have much accumulation in the atmosphere, uh, heat is too much and then there are climate changes and so forth results and also resulting in global warming. But now we are much interested or are deeply interested in carbon dioxide emission. Uh, I hope you are going to enjoy our, our show. With me I have Kuboka Simhiwe, one of the scientists, uh, Masiza Siana, one of best scientist and Diego Azola, the top scientist in the world. Uh, uh, bear, uh, bear with us. I hope you are going to enjoy. We love you. Thank you. Uh, guys, as you heard that, you will be more interested in carbon dioxide emission. Now, in the atmosphere, there are a lot of greenhouse, greenhouse gases which are found. For example, the CFCs, methane but we are mostly interested in carbon dioxide emission now carbon dioxide is emitted in different ways for example <coughs> the trans the, the cars which are found in town uh, give out a lot of carbon dioxide the factories that are found in some big cities give out carbon dioxide but we would like to talk about deforestation now deforestation cutting down of trees without replacement. So the more we cut down trees, it is the more we we, we contribute in the emission of carbon dioxide. Uh, in this place where I am, there are a lot of trees which are being cut down and which results in carbon dioxide emission. Uh, as you can see here, there's this tree. This tree has been cut down. This tree, <coughs> it is estimated that it was absorbing 3 million tons of carbon dioxide. Now imagine, this tree is dead. Which tree will absorb that kind of, of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Come and look at this side. <coughs> Even this tree here, this tree is dead because it has been cut down. The more we cut down trees, it is the more carbon dioxide is being emitted in the atmosphere. And these trees, if we cut down these trees, these trees need carbon dioxide to photosynthesize. So if we cut down these trees, how will they absorb the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Uh, let me <coughs> drop it there so that my fellow scientists over here will tell you more about carbon dioxide emission. This tree next to me is in bad. Therefore we can say this tree is dead. Uh, there is no green pigment in this tree. Therefore this tree does not photosynthesize. There is no chlorophyll and there is no there is no green leaves which can absorb the carbon dioxide. That is not And uh, it does not, it does not take in carbon dioxide, and it does not give off oxygen. So I think, I think the more carbon dioxide that will be released in this, in this, in this community, it will cause an a, an increase in the greenhouse gases. So uh, uh, I'm leaving it to to my colleague. Without the use of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, we have carbon dioxide to protect us, to form a carbon coating layer in the atmosphere, which will trap in 
heat. So without the use of carbon dioxide, we'll be living in the in an icy planet with temperatures below zero and temper and very very low temperatures. So the the life on Earth will be totally extinct. Let me leave it to my colleague. Uh, guys, as we've already said that uh, cutting down of trees <coughs> contributes in the greenhouse emissions. So the best way to get rid of this of this emitting of greenhouse, we should plant more trees. We should afforestrate but not deforestrate. Tell people out there that deforestation uh, leads to a lot of greenhouse emissions. So, wherever you are, make sure that people know <coughs> the wrong things about cutting down trees. We know that you use these trees for special purposes, but at least when you cut down trees, you should plant more trees. And that is all I want to tell you uh, before we close, is that let us afforestrate, but not deforestrate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our show. As my colleague has said that you deforestrate these trees for a good purpose sometimes, for heating. We know that heat is very expensive when using electricity or when using coal. So, afforestrating or using trees, it's, very, it's a way of easy to have a heat. But I want you to limit, we please you to limit using trees, or we, we, we please you to limit the afforestation. And we hope you, we hope that you have enjoyed the show. This has come to our end. I hope that you have learned something in our show. Please support us in, our, in this thing. Our egg planet is coming to an end if you don't stand up. You alone, you can stand up. Thank you.